Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ink Splash. Today I am going to compare Parker Quink Black with Prill Black. So starting with the bottle, both of these inks come in glass bottle and then the cap of Parker is plastic and the cap of Brill is steel. So the steel cap has some disadvantages because it tends to loosen. You can you know deform the cap after opening it and it's a very thin steel so it is quite easy to deform this you know uh, cap and then this can loosen. So you have to be careful with caps on the Brill bottles. So I'm using a standard you know, copy paper for comparing these inks. So let's see how do they fare against each other. So I'll start with creating a swab. Okay, this is Parker. Let me write the name of the ink also. Okay, so let's do another pass. To see the intensity of the inks after repeatedly applying these inks okay so I'm starting with a medium nib so I use only two nibs medium and broad because they are generally <clears throat> medium is the most common nib that you can find in India so we have yes, uh, medium nib okay and you can see the wetness of the ink right let's draw some this also so it dries quite quickly Yeah, it dries quite quickly, so let's try it out with some with the broad nib now. Okay. Broad ink, you know. With broad nib, it's, the ink is quite wet. Make some messes here. The dry time is also okay with broad nib, so it takes around two to three seconds to dry. Three more than three seconds to completely dry out. Let's make another pass, third pass to see the intensity of the ink or the color of the ink after multiple passes. And then I can draw a small grid here to check the waterproofness of the ink. We'll come back to it later. Okay. So now let's go for Brill. Okay, so let's have the passes again. Three 
process. Let's write something. Okay, right away you can see the difference between these two inks. This Brill is a little bit more drier than the Parker. It, it dries quickly than Parker. So you can see the dryness. It is completely dried after one or two seconds. So, so the saturation of Parker is a little bit better than Brill, I suppose. So let's have another pass. Okay, the broad nib. Broad nib is wet. With broad nib, the ink takes time to dry, but still it takes less time to dry than Parker. Okay, let me make a grid here also. And let's have some water droplets to test the waterproofness of things. Okay, so we need a third pass here. Okay, so let's talk about these things now. So the, the Parker is darker than Brill. Brill is a little bit on the softer tone. So I did some the chromatography also. So you can see the chromatography results here. The This one is Parker on the top and blue one is the Brill. Brill, you can see it is grayish. You know, it starts from the gray and after uh, uh, in water it expands to a grayish tone so the undertone is gray right and and the parker it has you know multiple colors it shows blue color sheen also and then it has some turquoise sheen also here if you can see and it is darker than brill okay so let me clean this and see the waterproof yeah both things are both things are you know for pretty much waterproof they don't fade away in the water you can see both things stay there but the parker ink is more saturated more black than brill let me see the back of the paper the bleed through of Parker is less than the bleed through of Brill. So Brill is a little bit more thinner than Parker. So that is why it is bleeding through and the broad nib is quite well, you know, going through the paper. You can see here. You can see some feathering if you can see. There is feathering in both Brill and Parker. You can see feathering with broad nibs here in Parker in Parker with broad nib there is some feathering here you can see some feathering but in Brill also you can see some feathering in medium nib also but not that evident but with broad it is quite evident there here we have quite much 
uh, feathering and i don't see much shading in both of the inks there is no quite you know i don't see any shading but there is some sheen onto this parker parker is giving some sheen some golden hue there you can see some sheen in parker but there is no sheen at all in the brill so i again spelled it wrong so on and all both things are okay if you see the price range then you know parker is quite costlier than brill and they have done a good job brill have done a good job to create a good ink but another problem with <coughs> brill is that it is not marketed well you don't find brill inks readily available in stationery shops you have to order them online or you might find in you know some good stationery shops but parker is available everywhere you can find Par parker even in small stationery shops and in big malls also so parker has a good marketing strategy but brill is you know not that well marketed and it is not readily available in the market so if you are looking for a darker ink that has good saturation then i would say go for parker and if the price is not constrained if you are you know happy to spend 80 rupees or 100 around 80 to 100 rupees for 30 ml ink then parker is a good choice but if price is constrained then you can go for brill also brill will be a little bit lighter in writing but still it is a good ink it will write well on the normal paper as well with with medium and fine nibs so overall both things are you know not uh, if we take away the price range then they are quite good inks hope this video helps and thanks for watching the video please do like the video share the video and most importantly subscribe to the channel for more updates and interesting videos thank you bye bye